Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video review of the new Webinar Geo software that's coming through. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be on some of the webinars um, prior to launch as, as everybody's been getting ready and uh, I have access to the system to be able to walk through and show uh, some of the good points about the program and what we like about it and uh, some of the results as well. So um, we're going to log into Webinar Geo and walk through the dashboard um, from the very first moment. So as soon as you log in, uh, you're actually uh, greeted with this uh, walkthrough. So you can, you, as you click through, you're shown where to set up live and recorded webinars. Uh, you're shown how to, to get, find your users and different media elements, which we'll cover in this training video. Um, and so this is where we start to be able to set up. So it's very, very simple to navigate through the program. Um, you'll be able to just quickly and easily start a new webinar. You can also do recorded webinars uh, and lots of other things here. I'm going to show you some of the different bits and pieces, starting with, of course, how to set up a webinar. So I'll create a new webinar um, and you can see how fast this is to do. So I'll give it a title. So let's say this is my demonstration webinar like that. We're going to choose a date and time. So uh, let's say, for example, you can choose your time zone uh, and we might say that it's on this particular date and we say it's at, at uh, this particular time. So we've given it a date and a time. You, it automatically flags the uh, webinar to be recorded, so you never need to worry about that. You can link it to the autoresponders. At the moment, uh, there's a bunch of autoresponders. I'll show you those in the settings um, and they're adding more all the time. So we then choose the look and feel. So if we go for a gray, for example, and then just click on save. That's it, we give it a, d a date, a time, and a title, and we have a webinar now that we can set up and use. The great thing I like about this is that it shows you the link straight away. Now this is the link that you will use to sign people up to the webinar, as well as you will use to be the presenters. So if somebody's joining a webinar, if I open a new window there, what they will see is the demonstration webinar, the sign up page, everything ready, and it's all mobile responsive. Um, so you can add in a, a pre-webinar video and uh, add in some details here. And when people opt in, uh, they, they're, sh they're shown a calendar link. So if I say, uh, my name is Test and my email, Test at email. As soon as they sign up, they're shown a, a link to be able to add that straight to Apple or Google or Outlook calendars and a, a link for the webinar and the emails are sent straight through for them. So that's super easy and they've then, then got the link uh, they can engage straight away. Um, so super easy from a from a administrator, so from a attendee's point of view. So we've created a webinar quickly with getting people to sign up. When that webinar, the date to, to start it comes around, it's really simple to then run that webinar. So we're just going to open it up. This is the, the administrator's view of that same webinar. We can see that it's uh, how many hours it is until the date and time. This is our live chat box over here. They've got some great features with the chat, being able to um, flag people with color-coded replies and pre-written responses, uh, doing private chat. You can also make somebody a presenter with one click or mute them. So you can share the presentation with, with other attendees. Um, when, the, when the program starts, uh, you can use Google Hangouts. The whole premise of Webinar Geo is that it's built without Hangouts, but sometimes you can Choose to use it if you want to, so you can have a, a hangout based presentation, but most of the people will be using a, a, a live kind of um, a streaming presentation. Um, there's different modes, obviously the camera mode, which shows your live webcam, the whiteboard mode, which I'll show you. So the whiteboard mode allows you to literally draw on the screen. So you can uh, do all the kind of annotations. Uh, you can write text on there. Um, however you want to, thick pencil, thin pencil, etc. change the colors, just like this. So this allows you to, um, to, to annotate on the screen, which is really interactive. You can also do things like uploading images to that whiteboard. So I've chosen a flowchart and then I can just kind of uh, put that onto the whiteboard. And again, I can, I can use my, my pencils then to, to draw literally straight onto that and, and emphasize, for example, different areas of my uh, of my flowchart I can um, annotate directly on and, and all of this is shown live the cool, so that's the whiteboard so we've got camera mode and we've got whiteboard mode and the other thing you've got as well is this screen share mode which is kind of cool um, what this allows you to do 
is choose your screen. So if you've got dual monitors, you can run a presentation on a second monitor. Uh, you can choose an individual window. So you can say, for example, uh, steer somebody through a PowerPoint presentation or keynote. You can share your whole screen, including the browser. So if you've got something to show off on the web page, you can show it there. You can even play YouTube videos uh, directly on the, on the browser. So you can choose which window you're going to share with that screen share, which is really great. Um, so the the actual presentation window is very, very simple to use. Uh, it switches modes very easily. I think probably my only uh, complaint with the whole system is that it takes maybe two or three seconds to change from camera to whiteboard to screen. But I mean, two or three seconds is not uh, not anything bad, but that's that's about the time. Um, so the, this is the presentation window. Okay, so going back to the dashboard, that's a live webinar. We can also set up these recorded webinars. So if you've got a pre-existing recording, you can, uh, you can use from uh, one that you've already had, there's that demonstration webinar, it does the recording straight away so I can use that file or I can use an external link and that gives us the option to use a Vimeo video or a YouTube video straight onto the screen. And you can have this evergreen or, or recorded presentation so that um, people can sign up to it and choose the day and time that they want to watch. So we might say, um, we're going to make our webinar available on Mondays, or Wednesdays and Fridays at a morning session and an evening session. And then when somebody comes to visit this, the page, they'll be able to choose when they want to watch it. Uh, and also you can include this watch now option. So if you're driving traffic to the webinar uh, and somebody's got the time now to watch it, they can elect to do that. Otherwise, if they say, for example, Wednesday at eight o'clock, the system will send them a reminder one hour before so they can go and watch the presentation or take them straight through to the page. So the pre-recorded webinars are really cool. Uh, I like this one as well, the media elements. You can create buy buttons. So if I have a, a buy button uh, and I can send that direct to a page, so I'll send it to Google, to, to Google like that. Um, and so I can literally trigger that during a, an event. Um, so what I mean by that is, let me see if I can refresh this. Okay, so now I've, I'm, I'm presenting my webinar and I want to trigger my buy button. I can literally just pick it up like that and choose to display. And it's right here. Now I need to give that a label. I did that badly. So label, uh, click here to buy now. So now let me just refresh this one more time. So I'm presenting, 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 and I want somebody to go and click the button when I want them to. I can trigger that immediately. There's the buy button. Show it now. Click here to buy now, just as I said. And you can see down the bottom left, it will take them to Google. But if I click on that, it will open in a new window and they're taken straight to whatever, whatever URL I said. So you can create instant call to action. So you can literally trigger it. If you're during a presentation, you can trigger it then and there and make people take action on the webinar, which is great. So that's the buy button. So you can also create surveys. So you can have multiple choice surveys or text answers, but the same way it pops up on people's screen at the time you want it to. So that's really great and allows you to, to really get interaction with people as well. So um, there's some really great features within the, within the system. Um, I mentioned in the chat, you can also have those pre-written replies. So you can, you can drop in those pre-written replies. You can also uh, have color-coded chat messages and multiple chat administrators. All of this is good stuff. And, and the most important thing is that the presentations themselves really are seamless. Um, some, some events that I've been on, you can see the camera clearly. You can see the webinar clearly, the, the PowerPoint just comes through easily, the audio is excellent, and it instantly records. And I guess that's the main point of a webinar system, is to make sure that it's enjoyable from the people who are watching it. Um, there's lots of bonuses here as well. Um, they've got some pre-done webinars as bonuses, and um, how to use Facebook to run your ads, and uh, some software as well. There's some really cool bonuses. This is a, a training series pre-recorded um, training on how to fill webinars and, and make them run without even needing a list or anything at all. So overall, the Webinar Geo system is easy to use, it's very powerful, uh, and from an attendee's point of view, it's, it's great to be able to watch that event and communicate live. Uh, I think it's got a much cleaner feel about it than anything with Google Hangouts, and it's certainly a lot less expensive than Go to Webinar. And uh, really, overall, I just I love the program. There's lots and lots being added to it, and um, I, I just think it's a terrific program. And you get lots and lots of 
areas of the system that's already been released and it's being done for a grandfather price so you can get in at launch and get all of this cool stuff and everything that they're adding for a rock bottom price which is fantastic uh, so overall five stars from me for webinar geo lots and lots of things that you can do with the program i hope i've shown you that it's easy and quick to use um, that it's a easy system to be able to work with and present with and lots of bonuses and a great price as well so that's webinar geo i hope you enjoyed our presentation